Hey guys, I thought I'd do a video on my 3 inch hexacopter. Um, this is a VSA 165 frame. Um, and I've really, I've probably rebuilt this thing about, I don't know, six or seven times, just trying to get all the components that I want, the features I want, and get it flying how I want. Um, and it's been a bit of a steep learning curve because I do prefer how hexacopters fly, I prefer their roll authority, I prefer just how they behave in the air, their flight characteristics, more so than a quadcopter. Um, so I've, I've put through like two or three different cameras on this thing, different flight controllers, different PDBs, where I wire things, and, and I finally arrived at a, at a setup that I really like. So um, the motors, I'll start with the motors. These are Xnova uh, RM1407 3500kV motors, um, and I actually run these at 5S, so I use Tattoo uh, 1050mAh um, 5S batteries, um, and uh, the ESCs are actually, they're a little big for a 3 inch, but um, I like them because I use them on all of my, my 6S builds, and they're very reliable and they're very affordable. Um, they're basically Spidex 30 amp HV ESCs, um, and I rarely have a problem in terms of, you know, something I haven't done to it um, occurring, like, meaning its demise. So, what I mean by that is I haven't hit massive voltage spikes on it, or, or I haven't, you know, I've, I've mistuned it and, and, and the D term basically burnt it out, or, or, or whatever, you know, it's, it's, as long as it's set up right and it's, and you're not doing something stupid like breaking arms and, and you know shorting out wires on them um, they're, they're good ESCs and, and I really like them so I've, I've probably got about 50, 50 of them <laughs> um, and I actually bought these from Nemo Nemo's Quad Supplies actually supplies these in his own brand I think he calls them the NESC 30 amp and um, they're basically they've they're been rebranded throughout God, who knows? Um, I think Spidex supply to um, uh, what's their name? Acon, Acon do them, and then there's another one. I can't remember that. But there's a bunch of companies that are using the exact same. You look at them; they're exactly the same, and they they happily run D Shot 600. However, the problem I have on this sort of build is um, I'm using a Pico BLX flight controller with a like genuine furious fpv and a genuine furious fpv uh, pdb that's right down on the base base plate and then i've got a furious fpv uh, innova vtx um, which is the version 2 that that, uh, that powers straight off the battery and um, i've done a little few little mods to it that people tend to do some like take away the ufl connector and um, direct solder the antenna so and then I've got the um, the Foxy right hand circular polarized stubby antenna uh, the props props are, are something that, that I was sort of missing out of this whole recipe until recently I just couldn't find a good prop that was efficient that had power at low end and had power at top end um, for what I liked and these are these are HQ 3030 by 3 um, props and they're, they're they're really nice i mean you, you hear guys like kebab fpv talk about like flex profiles and whatnot and these in the three inch class have some of the best like i think some of the best flex profiles um they've got that whole two-thirds thing going on um and you can really feel it in the air like especially when you're running 5s spinning these at what like forty-five thousand, maybe even fifty thousand rpm um you feel uh, the the props bend and more so when you put a HD camera on it you can feel them bend when you're doing rolls and, and sort of sharp maneuvers and trying to get get it to grip um, and a recent addition that I've put on is is this um, run cam mini and I really like the new line of cameras how they're all coming out smaller and um, and still retaining that that you know great you know CCD um, image um, which is still tunable, um, which I, I just, I freaking love it. Um, so this is the, the version 2, 165, I actually helped out the designer um, from version 1 and I got him to um, basically just cut a hole um, down beneath here and it, it, it allows you to, to sort of 
drop the whole top plate um, quite low and and more so with the mini because with the 1177 I was running 25 mil standoffs and uh, with the the normal mini um, I'm running uh, 20 mil and, and it's actually it actually saves a lot more weight than you think when you shave that much standoff off because um, it's a total of you know 20 mil or, or so um, of standoff um, and it's, it weighs a lot um, in, ter in not a lot in, but I mean in terms of micro terms it, it, it's quite low um, it's got a XT60 and there's one of my antennas that's sandwiched between a um, uh, two zip ties um, and uh, heat shrinked and then I've got another antenna over here that's in an antenna tube um, um, and yeah it's, this is just your standard you know, GoPro TPU mount but uh, I, I tend to use this with my Run Cam 3 which is what I'm recording with right now um, and it's got a, an XM Plus receiver in here which I really like. I don't. I don't actually run a Tyrannus. I run a, a TBS Tango with an XJT module. Um, so I still do use FreeSky protocol, or FR Sky protocol. Um, however, I don't have. T I don't have as much telemetry available to me as um, as a, a regular Tyrannus user. So the way I get around that is is by by use of uh, OSDs and. and in essence the end result is you you end up with a, a display on the controller um, that is very much like telemetry so you've got you know your voltage your, your amperage and, and whatnot the only thing that's really lacking is is the ability to speak to you um, which I don't really need I, I respond more to visual I guess I guess that's a personal thing um, but yeah that's my um, my three inch build just a few other little details it's um, I run all four motor screws for each motor um, I don't really like the whole idea of using two. Um, I use a uh, dual lock on my for mounting my battery, and I've kind of come up with this weird system. I guess it's weird. Um, for it's unique to hexacopters. <laughs> so you sort of zip tie your battery strap around arms five and six, and um, that allows you to to get a good cinch down and. It also tends to um, break less battery straps this way, I found, because you're not wrapping around carbon fibre and, and these zip ties tend to have a little bit of give. So um, it's a really, really robust system and it has, a, has enough give to be um, strong and it has enough strength to keep your battery in here when you, you cartwheel at you know, 100 k's an hour. Um, yeah, that's, that's my... my uh, three inch hexacopter um, I'm really happy with it I'm really happy with the build and I'm actually in the process of building a second one that's how much I like it and I'd, I'd really like to get into racing this thing it really it handles amazingly um, it has a lot of power and I suspect it has a lot more or not a lot more but slightly more power than your average uh, five inch quad um, just quite simply because it's running at 5s and it's got so much kV um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like to ask any questions or, or have any critiques. I'm open to critiques. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.